Alrighty, so this is going to be a reading for my Pisces. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is going to be a look at your love life from now until the end of December 2020. So we're going to get straight into it. If you are new here, welcome. Make sure you subscribe if you'd like to see more of my readings and make sure you hit that notification bell as well so that you always get notified when I post. And if you do want a personal, check out the description box. That information will be listed there. Alrighty, so Pisces, give me a love check-in for my Pisces. And I have a lot of cards falling everywhere. Hold on. Let's put these back and this one. Pisces, a love check-in. Okay, so... The current energy surrounding your love life, we do have the Ten of Swords, your person's feelings, we do have the Strength card, your feelings in terms of this connection, we do have the Temperance, the Advice, we do have the Knight of Cups, the next set of actions towards you, the Six of Cups, and then the Outcome for December 2020, we have the Nine of Cups, which is really good. Okay. Pisces. Okay, so we have let your friends help you in reverse here. It says ask and accept support from others. And then we also have very soon. It says clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Alrighty, so let's talk about it. So with the very soon, well, we're going to start with these. With the very soon card and also let your friends help you in reverse here, some of you, you could be feeling like you don't have a support system to where you could really ask for advice in terms of what you should do with your connection or your love life. Um, also, for some of you guys, you could have a weird situation going on where you may not really want to tell people what's going on with you because of the circumstances you may be in. It could be like you talking to someone who's married or, um, you know, the circumstance may be kind of messy or weird and you may be not really knowing how to talk to anyone about it because you don't want people to judge you um some of you guys also you could have people around you who are giving you advice in a sense but you may not be really listening so be careful of not really listening to people around you or even getting bad advice from people as well that could influence um some problems in your life so if you're getting bad advice and you're noticing hey i'm taking advice from my friends I'm taking advice from people around me and it's not really helping my situation. Maybe there may be a need for you to kind of go within and make sense of, you know, what's going on and, and what's the best point of action for you, especially if you're not getting the desired results. Desire, yeah, the desired results, excuse me, that you're looking to receive. Um, there may be a need for you to, like I said, do your own self-reflecting. Now, when it comes to the very soon card, that's just symbolizing that very soon something is going to transpire in terms of your love life. Very soon um, things are going to shift in regards to your love life. You need to clearly decide what you want your love life to look like and you need to have a plan and know how you're going to execute that plan and what type of person fits in that plan and not settling for anything less than that. Now, Going more into this reading, the first card is going to represent the current energy. I do have the Ten of Swords. So with the Ten of Swords here, um, the current energy may be an ending. Like some of you guys may have recently ended a relationship with someone or a connection um, that wasn't really going anywhere. And this could be feeling almost like a defeat because things didn't work out the way that you may have expected. Or for some of you guys, somebody could have betrayed you. This could be a husband, somebody, like I said, you were casually dating or actually in a relationship with, and you may be feeling betrayed by that individual. Clarifying that I have the justice card. So some of you guys, there could be some sort of ending to a karmic relationship, or somebody may have betrayed you. And this, the justice card being on top of it is an omen for karma. Karma is definitely going to be initiated to anyone who has done you wrong. So don't think that anybody is just going to get away with doing you wrong. And, you know, they're not going to experience their own level of karma. It may not happen 
when you want it to. It may not even happen in front of your eyes, but if anybody has wronged you recently, this is the omen of, you know, them definitely getting some karma. Now, some of you guys also, this could be the energy of you ending a relationship with the Libra or you guys even trying to mend fences with somebody who may have betrayed you or some, some, some relationship that may have ended, excuse me. Now, your person's feelings, I do have the strength card. So they are trying to stay strong and they're actually determined to work this out. Honestly, this person is very determined to work this connection out. They would like to see things shift for the better. Okay. Um, now your feelings, I do have the temperance card. So also they could be a little defensive. Some of them, some of you guys are dealing with somebody who's open and determined to fix this connection. Others of you, you're dealing with somebody who's defensive, even though they still want this connection, they're just defensive. Now your feelings, sorry about that. We do have the temperance card. So this is you trying to be patient. Um, in terms of somebody making up their mind, if they want to be with you or if they, you know, are going to move on. Um, some of you are also trying to work the connection out and really get past the rough patch. But you may be needing to be, like I said, patient with your person because they may be acting either inconsistent or there's a decision that needs to be made in terms of whether or not they want to heal it. So it, it's a lot going on. Now, the advice that your spirit guides have for you, we do have the Knight of Cups. So if you're dealing with somebody who's emotionally fickle, like one second, they're all gung ho to be in a relationship with you and they know how to say all the right things to you to, you know, make you feel like a goddess or make you feel like they're genuine. And then they turn around and then it's like a different vibe after then you may be needing to take a step back because the inconsistencies is going to continue if this person is continuously giving you this weird shifty energy. And then also the immaturity as well. Um, clarifying that Knight of Cups, we have the six, of, no, the seven of Pentacles and the page of Pentacles. So um, also when it comes to love advances, there's definitely a need for you to feel Anybody out who comes your way during this time frame um, and the best way to evaluate them is over time. So don't be quick to kind of, you know, get too sexually involved with someone as well. And that was specifically for someone that wasn't for everyone. But when it comes to the next set of actions this person is going to take towards you, we do have the six of cups. So um, if this is somebody who you have established history with, they're going to use nostalgia or memories that you guys have established to lure you back in. OK, especially if you have children with this person. Others of you, um, if this is someone newer, they you may realize more things about them as far as um, their relationship with their child's mother or their child's father, regardless of, you know whatever. Anyways, you may notice things in regards to the person they may have children with, whether it's like them still communicating with this person or even their relationship, that relationship is going to tell you a lot. But, um, yeah, you may also notice that they may have some past trauma too, for some of you guys. But, um, and then also for some of you, it's more of a situation where they may try to like do little things to kind of, um, bring you back in, like buy you flowers or little things, um, to show appreciation for you. But the outcome of December, I do have the nine of cups. So with the nine of cups, this is you guys getting wish fulfillment. This is you getting what you want in the end. Um, you walking out the situation as a winner. We have the world card and also the high priestess. So a lot of you are going to use your inner intuition to, help you basically close out a cycle, whether this is like closing out a cycle and cutting somebody off or making the decision that's going to shift. Like I said, your, your love life. So this could be you having a conversation to sit down with your person and you guys trying to figure out ways to work through the problems. Um, others of you, like I said, this is more of you using your intuition and cutting this person clean off. But 
this is what I see. I hope that you enjoyed and you took something from this reading. If you did, thumbs the video up. Make sure you subscribe. Check out the description box if you want a personal. And I will see each and every one of you in the next one. Bye.